Hey everyone, Donald from Otaku no Podcast, back with a slightly different video because obviously this is not School Idol Festival. This is something that I, as well as a bunch of other people, have been eagerly anticipating for a long time. The new kid on the block for in terms of mobile rhythm gaming. It's Bang Dream Girls Band Party. This game came out uh, about a year ago, maybe two years ago. I don't exactly remember. And it's been gaining a lot of popularity. And just last year, late last year, it was announced that an English port would be coming, which is really exciting because it's very rare for this type of game to be ported for a worldwide audience. I mean, the only others I know of are Love Live School Idol Festival, and actually just this year, um, a port of Uta no Prince Sama came out as well. Of course, both of those titles are by K-Lab, but that's about it. There's a ton of other games. Idol Master, uh, Starlight Stage, Cinderella Girls, which is really popular. Um, Idol Master Theater Days, Million Live, uh, Tokyo Seven Sisters, uh, Aichu, Ensemble Stars, N Stars, tons of other games of this type that just haven't made it outside of Japan. But now we have a new contender, and this is a game that a lot of people like, and for good reason, because it's really very well done. So, um, Bang Dream is basically, it's based on an anime, it's about girl bands. Now, you'll have to forgive me because I'm probably going to make a lot of factual errors because I really don't know that much about the Bang Dream universe. Um, I don't really know that much about the game either. I've kind of dabbled a little bit in the Japanese game, but since I can't read Japanese, I haven't really gone very far in that. Um, so, yeah, forgive me if I make any stupid mistakes, and if you catch me in an error, I would appreciate it if you could correct me in the comments down below. Anyways, um, last year, the uh, English port of Bang Dream Girls Band Party, otherwise known as Bandori or Garupa, was announced. And just this week, the game debuted. Um, it started out as Singapore only, but it'll be coming worldwide uh, in about a week. So look for this to hit both iOS and Android app stores sometime in the first week of April, which is really cool. So, similar to School Idol Festival, it's your typical rhythm game with story elements and card collecting. Um, we've got, of course, the main the, uh, story, uh, both the main story as well as each band has its own side stories, and there are five bands. Um, Poppin' Party, which I believe is the main band that was focused on in the anime, but there's also these four other bands that I don't think they were in the anime or if they were, they were more like side characters. There's Afterglow, there's Pastel Palettes, who is basically like an idol band, but they play um, their own instruments. There's Roselia, which I call the Chuni band. <laughs> and there's Hello Happy World. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, there's, of course, main story, side stories. You, um, you can read those to unlock songs. Um, and the stories are really cool because they are fully voiced and they use um, Live 2D, which is a um, animation system. So you can see the characters actually um, have expressions. They 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 talk. They you know they have lip movements. They um, they have um, body postures. It's it's really cool. Um, and of course, let me skip through the end of the story here. But we also have the chibis. Um, one feature that I really liked from Idol Master Cinderella Girls is the room where you basically can have chibis of your girls wandering around and uh, Bang Dream has that, which is really cool. Basically, you can kind of go around several various areas of the town and you can see that sometimes you'll run into various characters and they have little mini dialogues which you can watch kind of like kind of like mini side stories and when you watch them you will increase basically you increase your bond 
with the uh, various band members that you talk to. Uh, you saw that right there. And once you level up your bond with a particular band, you unlock another one of their side stories. Also, just like in um, Cinder Cinderella Girls, you can buy items to decorate your various spaces using in-game currency, but the cool thing about these is certain items will actually give you a boost. So for example, the uh, Poppin' Party Flyer here, if you add, if you add that to your scene, um, that basically gives a 6% boost on all stats for Poppin' Party members. So that's pretty cool, um, and of course we've got the uh, live tab. Now the interesting thing about lives is notice there's no LP bar and that's because there is no LP. You can literally play songs until the cows come home. What you do have are these flames which are like live boost and if you use them you increase um, the amount of prizes, EXP, event points and stuff that you get from playing a song. Kind of like the 2x, 3x, 4x thing in School Idol Festival. Flames regenerate over time, um, and when you level up, you get additional flames, and they carry over, so it's kind of like LP overflow um, in School Idol Festival. I believe the maximum amount of fl flames you can have on hand is 99, however. So yeah, that's an interesting system where basically you have no LP, you can play songs as long as you want, but you have these live boost flame things that you can use if you want extra points or like for example during an event and stuff. There's also this interesting thing called multi-live, which is basically where you perform with other players in real time and your total contribution between all the people that are playing will get you more prizes. So this is so it's similar to the other um, collaborative event types in other games. I believe um, Cinderella Girls has something similar. School Idol Festival just added a Nakayoshi match, aka friendly match and companion match. Um, so yeah, there's that. Anyways, of course, here's the section of the app where you manage your teams. You can, you know, set up up to, I believe, 10 teams. And there are attributes as well, uh, just like um, School Idol Festival. There's powerful, cool, pure, and happy. Now, attributes don't really matter when you're just playing regular songs. If you look through the song list, you won't see any attributes listed for any of the songs. Where attributes really matter is during events, um, where in certain events, a certain attribute will be more important. Meaning that if you play an event with a team with the attribute that the event is focused on, you know, you'll do better, you'll get more points and so on. So once you start playing events, you'll definitely want to start building specialized teams that focus in on that particular event's attribute. Now the mechanics for leveling up cards is completely different. Um, there is no such thing as feeding, so there's no cannibalism. When you play lives, um, the cards that you use will level up, but you can also level them up in the practice menu by using these items called studio tickets um, and that increases their level and you get these as re rewards from playing songs uh, I believe you can get them from stories re from reading stories as well as login bonuses so yeah no no feeding now that begs the question well what, what do you do with duplicates when you pull a duplicate card well Good news is, that's not a problem, because there are no dupes. Um, if you actually end up pulling a duplicate card, it gets turned into something called a Michelle sticker. And you can use those here in the exchange shop for various things like um, gotcha tickets, which are like scouting tickets, um, studio tickets, which you know are the ones that you, the things that you use to um, level up your cards, and various other things. So it's kind of like the sticker shop in School Idol Festival, which is pretty cool. Um, now to idolize your cards, um, they actually call it training. 
but if I had any cards capable of being idolized slash trained, that's what I would do here. So the way training slash idolization works is different than in other games. Uh, in most other games, you have to basically use two of the same card to idolize slash awaken whatever it. Not so in Bang Dream. In Bang Dream, you use a certain number of crystal fragments. These are basically items that you can receive. Um, I believe you can get some through reading stories, playing lives, as well as event rewards when you're playing an event. Anyways, you use these items on a card to um, train slash idolize slash awaken it. You can only train slash idolize cards that are three star or above and they have to be max leveled. And training them basically idolizes them, you know, changes their costume, and raises their level cap. Unfortunately, I don't have any 3 star and aboves that are max level, so I can't show you training. The way the um, rarity system works is 1 stars are basically starter cards. They are the cards that you get when you first start the game. 2 stars are kind of like rares in other games. 3 stars are like super rares, SRs and four stars are the ultra rares. And the big deal about ultra rares in um, Bang Dream is that the rate for four stars, AKA, in other words, the ultra rare rate is 3%, which is pretty cool. Anyways, let's move on to live shows and I'm probably gonna have to turn the sound off on these because I don't want to get taken down for copyright violation. So I'll have to do a record a voiceover after the fact and don't judge, I'm still pretty crappy at this game. Anyways, once the song is over, you get um, various items, for example, studio tickets, which you use to level up your cards, as well as these various gems and things, the items that you use to idolize slash train. And you get your score, perfect, greats, goods, etc. 
and yeah, <laughs> I suck. Also, the recording software I use introduces a huge delay, a huge lag. And now we get our um, points, uh, our EXP. Um, we also level up, both the cards level up as well as the band, uh, our band rank levels up. And the way band rank works is the band of the cards that you use gains levels and as you level up various bands you, see, you saw that I can unlock their side stories. And you also get this end of live cutscene which is pretty cute. And the day just rolled over, so we got our login bonus. Nice. And by the way, uh, right now they're running a new players promo. So uh, if you log in every day, uh, you know, during these first day few days that the app is out, you'll get a ton of stars. Anyways, the last thing that I'm going to show you today is, of course, the gotcha. You know, this is a gotcha game, so you will have cards that you can scout from. Um, here you can tap member details, and you can see all of the cards that are currently available. You can see all of their stats, and you can see their regular and their idolized um, appearance, which is cool. Um, this scouting screen looks pretty fancy. Now I know why the JP uh, School Idol Festival just redesigned their scouting screen. You know, gotta keep up with the Joneses. Um, but yeah, so this is your normal gotcha. Of course, you can do a solo YOLO for 250 stars, and you can do a 10 scout for 2,500 stars. And just like other games, your 10 scouts will guarantee you at least one three star or above. So that's sort of like guaranteed SR in School Idol Festival. Um, there's also this daily paid gotcha where you can use um, once a day, you can do a solo YOLO for only 60 stars, but they have to be paid stars. Um, you can also use these um, gotcha, star gotcha tickets if you've got them. Um, I believe you can get these probably from various places like I think probably as event rewards and also from trading in Michelle stickers and stuff. Um, now there's also this ticket gotcha, um, which you can use these golden um, gotcha tickets and you can get these from trading in Michelle stickers in the sticker shop. And so this is kind of like the uh, blue tickets, kind of like um, Bang Dreams equivalent of blue tickets. So scouting from here will basically guarantee you a three star or above. Now during events, you'll also get event gotchas. And these are gotchas with event specific cards. And usually it's a card that benefits you in some way for that event. For example, um, it has it's very powerful in the attribute that the event is geared towards. Anyways, I did attend Scout. Now you've probably noticed that my level is probably different and the number of stars in my counter there is different. That's because I had to re-record um, part of this video because I messed up the audio and unfortunately I messed up the audio during my scout. So I'll still show you the video from that scout, but the audio is totally useless so I'm just gonna have to put in some generic um, background music. So yeah, anyways, let's see what I pulled. By the way, the interesting thing on the gotcha screen, um, when you pull, you'll notice that there, um, you'll see a bunch of glow sticks. The kind of interesting thing is, based on the color of the glow sticks you see, you can tell what rarity of cards that you pulled. Unfortunately, I don't remember what the various colors mean, so yeah, I'll have to, if I find that information, I'll have to insert that into the video or into the video description. Anyways, let's check out my scout.
So that wasn't too bad. No four stars, but I did get uh, quite a few three stars. So that's definitely an above average scout. So yeah, anyways, that's it. That's Bang Dream. Um, really well put together game. I'm really impressed. And this game is really going to give all the other games a run for its money. And I'm just really, really glad that we have yet another um, game of this type that's been localized uh, and is outside of Japan. Now the game is currently only available in Singapore. Um, I was actually able to get a hold of it through a certain means at my disposal. However, the game is due to be released worldwide sometime next week, so check your iTunes App Store and the Google Play Store. Should be there sometime in the first week of April. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Again, I am really, really new to this game. Um, I haven't really played the Japanese version very much, mostly because I don't read Japanese, so I didn't know what the heck I was doing. And obviously I'm very new to the English version, but I'll be learning and I'll definitely be putting out some videos about this game. Definitely some scouting videos and probably some tutorials slash how to play videos as well. And again, I probably made like over 9,000 errors um, in the stuff that I've been telling you. If you manage to catch me in any big mistakes, uh, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Sayonara, Johnny.